Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So we have another video on the Gadget Tree Dancing Water Speakers. This one is about how the pump actually works. Um, I thought it was pretty clear in my last video on you know how they work, but a YouTuber had asked for I guess a better explanation. Uh, so I'm gonna give it my best shot here for you. Um, now this is just one I've got laying around spare parts because I got a few spare parts for these things. Anyways, um, you've got magnets on the motor, and it's a it's a pulse reactive motor. Um, now, if you put straight power to this motor, this is going to spin. Um, but when you're dealing with music and the circuit board that this motor is hooked onto, it goes to the beat of the music, so it goes you know boom 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 okay type of thing. But it only spins one direction. Now, if you look closely, I don't know how well you're going to see this, but I'm just putting the base or the, the bottom base around the edge lip here and you can see that it moves the pump so they're pretty strong little magnets you know and uh, so how the fan works is it's got the blades on it because it's a fan so as it gets spun pressure gets built inside because all the water is down at the bottom here okay and um, it builds pressure and forces the water in streams up through and gives the appearance as if it's coming physically through each LED light which it kind of really isn't because the LEDs are separate okay I, I've got my LEDs pulled out of here so they are separate um, you know so it gives the appearance that it's going through and it's just the way it's all built inside I'd actually have to cut this thing right apart um, which I'm not going to do um, but uh, to show you the actual insides but I mean you can fill up the, the tank real easy just tilting it and you can see that the tank fills up with water really fast into the main glass area. Okay, so the water can go through um, all the way around the whole perimeter of this, right? Which is why it can go back down into the bottom of the main holding tank so quickly. Um, so when the, the motor pulses and builds its pressure, it gives the appearance of each single stream actually coming through each LED. When it's not coming through the LEDs, obviously, because they're not even installed in here right now. Okay. Um, and no liquid is coming out. Now how the liquid's held in is with this black grommet that's in here. Now it's either glued in place, it's, well actually it would be glued in place, but how they get the water into the tank is they probably fill it first and then put the grommet in place and glue it down, or maybe they inject it with a needle, who, who the heck knows? I don't, I've never seen how they're actually physically built, so you know it's a guessing game for all of us on how they actually fill these things with water and keep the water in there, but I would probably think that they fill it with water, put the plug in, glue the plug in place, and voila. Okay, um, so if you get a set of these speakers brand new and it's got no water in the, the one tank, then the likelihood is they forgot to put it in. You know, otherwise the inside of your box would be extremely wet and you'd see water stains, obviously. Um, so anyway, if you get a set like that, just take them back for another set. These are really cool speakers. They are built very well. Um, you know, I mean, they're 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 decent. You know, and they're they're fun. They're cool. Um, so anyway, so when the motor's underneath, as it spins around, it on pulses, it spins the the pump fan, and that's what builds the pressure inside the tank and forces the water up, because it's um it's kind of like turning on a water faucet. You know, it the pressure comes out and it shoots right. Well, so when you build pressure from the bottom, it's going to shoot upward. And if you're pulsing it, right, it's going to do the same thing. It's going to pulse. And in this case, it gives the appearance that it's coming through each little LED light. And uh, the LEDs are physically separate, and it's all sealed units. So, you know, you can pull your LED lights out, and, you know, you're not going to lose any liquid, right? Same as when you pull the motor out of the way. You're not losing any liquid. There's a plastic barrier between the motor plate and the fan plate at the bottom where you have your magnets and um, so that's that's all that's all I can really tell you guys I mean I don't know if that's a good enough explanation or any better than the last one um, but uh, it's the best I can tell you about how these things work um, so anyways feel free to leave your comments and um, as usual I'll do my best to answer them any way I can thanks for watching